Um, we need a better version of Ben Simmons. And I love Ben Simmons' game. I acknowledge the great defensive defensive player that he is. I acknowledge that he's well deserving of being a three time All Star. I am all I'm over, I'm, I'm over all the stuff that people have complained about over the years when it comes to Ben Simmons not shooting, not shooting threes, whatever it might be. But I wholeheartedly don't believe in the narrative that Doc Rivers was highlighting after the game. That was not the time for Doc Rivers to start having some kind of fake argument with fans that are just so far in the minority that their opinion isn't even worth acknowledging at this point because no one is expecting Ben Simmons to go out there and score 40 points in a game. Nobody. In the right mind, nobody is. But when it comes to one of the most basic things of basketball, a foul shot or a jump shot, yeah, you might want to incorporate that. And one thing Ben Simmons has done is incorporate that little baby hook into his game, which is nice to see, all right? But just the most basic thing, standing at the foul line and hitting a free throw. That is something that Ben Simmons started to improve upon this year. In February, we've highlighted it enough times, 70% plus. Wow, how great is that? And after game one, where uh, we had highlighted that Ben it, it had 15 rebounds and 15 assists. And we, we talked about that he only had six points, but I still thought he had a great game. The one thing that you, people could really, really poke, uh, you know, a lot of uh, I don't know, holes in was the fact that he was 0 for 6 from the foul line. That was really the only thing of Ben's game in that first game of this series that I went, oh, wow, Ben needs to improve upon that because at some point it's going to matter. Hello, game four. It mattered. And We'll let you hear from Doc Rivers. We'll let you hear from Ben Simmons and how they try to ex explain this away. I give some credit here to Ben, though, for at least saying, yeah, I got to step up. I got to make those shots. How how long is that going to go on where you're still working on this aspect of your game, especially for someone that when he is at his best, he is aggressive. He's attacking the rim. And when you attack the rim, you tend to get fouled. You tend to get end one situations where you have the chance to convert a three point play. So, yeah, it would help if sooner rather than later he started to improve upon his foul shooting. But the way this went down after the game, I just – I can't believe that this is where we went with this. Doc Rivers, I got three cuts for you that I want you to hear. If you haven't seen the post-game press conference, maybe you've only read the quotes, whatever it might be. Doc Rivers was asked about Ben Simmons going three for six since the hack of Ben started at about the 247 mark of the fourth quarter. Sixers had an opportunity to go in front. Actually, Ben Simmons hit a free throw to put him in front. I believe it was now 109 to uh, 108. And the Sixers had a lead at the 247 mark of the, of the fourth quarter. And then after that, it was basically going two for one up and down the court with the Wizards. Here is uh, Doc Rivers after the game talking about Ben Simmons going uh, three for six down the stretch when Hacka Ben started. Here's Doc Rivers on Ben Simmons' foul shooting. Analytically, if you split all those free throws offensively, you'll take a point per possession, you know. So he did that. I had no issues with it. Obviously, we loved him. They made them both. Um, but I didn't think that changed the game at all for us. So uh, I was fine with it. You know, if he had to miss both and both and both, then that was something. But – uh, overall, I was fine with it. Obviously, that's what they're going to do. That's what they should do, and we're fine with that. Okay, that last part right there, that's what they should do. Well, maybe ben, ben should be a better free throw shooter. And how do you say it doesn't change the outcome of the game when you're basically going two for one each possession? For me, i much rather have an opportunity, the opportunity that was, by the way, taken away from you because Scott Brooks said, hey, you know what? let's just start fouling Ben again. I'd rather have the opportunity for Danny Green to hit a shot or or Seth Curry hit a shot or uh, maybe somebody else hit a shot from the outside. Maybe somebody hits a three. Maybe get somebody else in foul trouble on their team. I'd much rather have that opportunity than just Ben standing at the line, hey, 50-50 shot, then he makes one point. I'd rather have a 50-50 shot of making a two-pointer, uh, hitting a three. I'd rather have that opportunity than automatically asking a subpar free throw shooter to step to the line and make a shot. Um, that's That perturbed me. I was perturbed by that comment from Doc Rivers. But not as much as the comment he made on two different occasions during that answer that he was fine with it, that he was okay with it, that he had no issue with it. 
this is the like, for all the Ben Simmons haters out there, and I am certainly not one of them. As I said earlier, I acknowledge that that, that he is a great defender, that he is well deserving of the All Star nods and and all that, and all the things that he does as a facilitator to set up and create points. That Doc Doc Rivers even said that after the game. I acknowledge that Ben Simmons can create for this offense. He's not the scorer, but he can certainly create and facilitate and all that stuff. But the, to say that you have no issue with it, to say that you were fine with it, to say that you were okay with it, I, I, if I'm if I was back back in the days of me taking phone calls from people, I, if I was just reading the transcripts, I would have been like, "Who's this person calling? They sound like a wild Ben Simmons apologist. This is ridiculous. They're okay with a guy missing free throws down the stretch." Uh, to me, it's much better if you do make the free throws. And, and oh, uh, give, give credit to Doc Rivers for this. He did acknowledge that, yeah, they must rather have him make both. But uh, in the event that he didn't, which he did not, uh, I'd rather have a guy like Danny Green, Seth Curry. Uh, I'd rather have Ben Simmons driving to the lane and try to get a dunk for you than Ben Simmons at the foul line. Uh, 